What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a video on a flamethrower made out of corn flour. Now, some of you guys might have actually seen a few videos out there where corn flour or cinnamon is used as fire breathing. When you put the powders in your mouth and you blow out onto a flame, you'll get an instant flame. Like this video here, this is one of my experiments. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step it up. Now I've got this empty fire extinguisher. So what I've done is I've pulled it all apart. I've emptied all the powder out, out of it and I've given it a good blowout. So there's none of the fire extinguisher powder inside of it. It's like a bicarb inside. Some of you guys might actually be able to correct me and tell me exactly what's in it. I don't actually know 100%. I just know it's some powder or BE powder, what it says on there. It's just like talcum powder, real fine stuff. So let's we'll see how we go. So I've got about a kilo of corn flour for a one kilo fire extinguisher. So you need an empty fire extinguisher, corn flour, and a drill with a drill bit. And now I'll show you step by step on how to do it. I have tested this before, before to see if this is going to work and it has worked for me. So I'm proud to show you guys. I want to have a big thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Um, I do appreciate that. That's a milestone for me. I've never thought I'd give, get that far. So I appreciate all your help. Appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram. There is going to be an iTunes card giveaway again. But you need to follow me on Instagram. Let's get started. So, you need to get your fire extinguisher. Now, these ones just unscrew at the top. Like so. You'll have your tube, and then you have your empty cylinder. So, I'll put that over there. Now, you have this part here so you can always check check the seal make sure it's not torn or ripped or anything like that and you can add a bit of oil or whatever like or a bit of silicon spray to grease it up so when you put it on there it's not going to tear and I've made this hole wider so that way I can refill it with a air compressor and I'll show you guys about that one as well so when I've done this experiment it worked but then it didn't work so what I've tested is drilling a hole into the actual tube itself allows a bit of a bit of the corn flour to mix with a bit of air which gave it a real fluffy flame which gave it a good nice flame effect so what you want to do is grab your drill and just drill a hole straight through the side there So it goes straight through like that. Now, that's just enough. It's a bit hard to see, especially with my GoPro. So that hole is just going straight through. And that, give, that gives it enough air, and when it sucks up the powder, it'll give enough powder and air mixture, which will work out very good. You keep quiet. So, now for the messy job. Putting your powder or corn flour into the fire extinguisher. If you have a funnel that works out so much more better, I don't have a funnel here. With the amount of YouTube videos that I have done and I've needed a funnel, I should invest in one. And there's my makeshift funnel again. This will, this will do the trick. So, now just for the uh, time consuming part, putting the corn flour into the fire extinguisher. I've had to put a bowl of water at the end of the table for her because she keeps eating the corn flour. If you actually haven't tried putting corn flour in your mouth, it does make you very thirsty very quick. Now that's pretty much full to the brim. 
I can empty a bit out, I don't actually need it that far. So you don't want to go past your holes or it's not going to work out and give it a good mixture. You don't want to make it compact, you just want to make it loose inside. So when you do put this on, we're going to put this on now, um, you're going to have to dig around for a bit because it is hard to try and get it straight again. But you can sort of hear, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, it sort of compacts when you push it down. So. We've got that on, so now what we're going to do is screw it up. Screw it up hand tight, it's just enough. So, a uh, uh, bit hand, it's alright there. So, shake it around a bit, just loosen it all up again. You don't need to sift corn flour because it shouldn't have any lumps or clumps in it. But if you do want to sift it, that's by choice. It just guarantees you that you're not going to have any issues. So now that's all topped up. I'll show you how to pump this up with an air compressor. If you don't have an air compressor, you're going to have a hard time trying to refill it because um, you need about 120 psi. So it's going to be a bit tricky. So guys, this is how to fill her up. So you've got your nozzle there, and I'm just using a air gun with an air compressor over there. Now, air compressor is about 110 to 120 PSI, so this can actually go up to about 150. So all you've got to do is just put it in to your little nozzle, start the pressure first, and then push the trigger down. So I'll do this now. You, you see the needle just move slightly. There's not enough pressure to top it right up. And now that's charged. So now, let's go set her off. Once you've put pressure in it, give it a good shake and bang around so you can loosen up all the corn flour inside and then we'll give it a spray. Oh, 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 oh,